Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Between our visitors and our home team. With that, let's get down to Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, we are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between our visitors and our home team. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. for football now on a sunny Florida afternoon and we are underway from Miami and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback so here come the Ravens now ready to get the football for the first time and a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three and what's a quarterback's best friend balance I think you're right <laughs> I agree with you you know a lot of guys would say great receiver right a terrific offensive line but I agree with you balance because if you can run the ball effectively that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read and they said balance and oh right away he lost the football a bad start there, a big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Shrugs him off. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. The dump off gets him only one, and now you're looking at a third down. And we get a quick peek at the Ravens starting offense. And the play of this offensive line is going to be so important in this game because we saw the sack a minute or so ago. They've got to be able to give their guy time to throw. That means communication and being physical is vital. Otherwise, this could be a long game. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. They'll look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's back. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. The Ravens send their punter out now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So here are the Cowboys under head coach Jason Garrett as they get set for their first opportunity. And they will be led out by their 6'4 quarterback. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do, lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. Here's Travis Homer, the former Miami Hurricane. 
Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line. Hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now a give right side. Gray. That hit he brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. And yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Operating from the gun. Perry. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Second and two. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Partner, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. From the gun, Perry. And that will be incomplete. The one with the dime look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. So on fourth down, Jason Garrett sends in his field goal unit. And his kick is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Ravens offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Yeah, the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Back to throw here. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Beck. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. And, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily 
going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. Returnable for Thomas. A 46-yard punt, four-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. And now here come the Cowboys. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. down. It's Gray. So he got free of one tackle but couldn't do a whole lot else. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Off the play fake. Perry. Nowhere to escape and he goes down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Off play action. Perry. Looking long for Thomas. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They've had it twice, they've punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is in this situation. They've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? And an alley to run! And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's back. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10, right at the 40. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's gonna get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out.
First red zone chance now for the Ravens. They've got a first and goal to go at the seven. He'll drop to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. So first and 10 now from the 30. Operating from the gun, Perry. Got a man on the right sideline. That's Jordan. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, Perry. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the catch and run, it's a first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. They'll run this with Homer. to the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. touchdown. Travis Homer, 40 yards. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Now the try here for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. A drive there of just four plays, and a pretty good run there in the end to top it off. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the Ravens taking the field. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time. Fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester. That's for sure, because to be that close and come away with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too. They thought, hey, they put some points up and have a little momentum going. They got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, let it go, -term memory. and move on to the next series. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the twenty-five. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. 
I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. Here we go on second and 12. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. Let's go. Give him 32 on the play. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big time completion. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now a handoff here to his running back. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Getting the sense, Charles, are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Personal foul, face mask, defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They run the counter. Watson. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That's a gain of seven, and we'll leave them with second and goal coming up. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old-school football or what, oh, right? Yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. And this one is right through. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And out now come the Cowboys. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They go play action here on first down. He gets it to Thomas. Oh, what a juke into space. 
And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A big play there. 75 yards. And the Cowboys are able to show off their quick strike ability. Not a whole lot to recap on that drive. Just one play, 75 yards to the house. Yeah, it's a long way to go. And remember, rarely is it a straight line 75 yards, too. Got to have a little extra in there. So whatever the final number is, a well-deserved seat on the bench, a little oxygen if he wants it as well. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 17-3. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's He's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. No, no, no. They'll run it now out of the gun. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. Out of the gun now on third down. And he's got his man on the out route. And he goes out right around the 39. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll drop the throw. Throw left side complete. It's Brewer. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. And partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores. But the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round, complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. He was able to escape momentarily in the backfield, but you could just kind of tell that wasn't going anywhere. You know, in the film session, he'll get a minus for not getting him on the ground by himself. But what the coach is really going to analyze, how fast did his teammates get there to help him? If one guy slows him up, everyone else better be there. And that's what they got on that play. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. 
So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be from 56 yards out. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. It was a kicker from that distance, 56, 57 yards. So many things you got to worry about. But I am a little surprised he didn't get it there. Yeah, with the way kickers are nowadays, we're surprised anything under 65 that it doesn't get at least to the crossbar. But remember this. You have to drive it a little bit lower in order yeah. to make that distance, and you also have to be worried about the interior rush that they can get their hands on it. So that's why those stronger kickers nowadays who can pop it up in the air and still travel and carry it, that's who you're looking for. So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. This is Homer. They find some open field here. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Right, here we go. Right. On the run, this is Gray. And he winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And the ball is knocked out. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 17-yard line. And the defense not able to get it. From, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. You must be, you must be getting tired of seeing me. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. His throw caught, and about the foul. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. From 17 yards out, and the Cowboys, they push out in front further. A lot of times when you take a tight end in later rounds, you're doing it with a little bit of hope, some potential. But not so with this guy. They believe he can really make an impact in the red zone, and he definitely makes good on that faith right there. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So that drive, four plays, and it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. They run the counter, Watson, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. 
Two yards, good enough for a first. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. The Ravens get a new set of downs. Give them 17 on that pickup. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now a play fake here on first down. Complete, it's Johnson. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando on this first half of action. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, and when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown grab, and the Ravens cut into that lead. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. A try here for the extra point. And this is up and good. That'll make it a score now of 24 to 10. So that drive goes eight plays. And it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. Now we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? But everything is working for them. Every move they make works. It clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Off the play fake, Perry. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Field complete. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. 
Out now comes the Cowboys punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Returnable here from the 38. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. Now he's having himself a little bit of a banner game. His team right now, though, losing. Needs a little bit of help, and I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score, and sometimes your strategy is, okay, he can go ahead and have all of his points. Let's hold down everyone else, and that's the way you win the game. And right now, he needs everyone else to start scoring. But nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They'll set up a throw. This is Johnson. He's got it. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this won't get there. Won't be on line either. It's no good. Go, Off to the go, right, go. and this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over to spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Going on the ground with Homer. 
And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Oh, he's able to out-muscle him here as he pulls it in. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. Now they'll run it on the toss. Able to avoid him at the 40. And now, and now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Cowboys. Travis Homer, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, the second half, no matter what, whether it's first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the 6. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. They're going to look to throw. Steps away. He's going to take off with it. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short game. Second and nine now. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Here we go. 60 or. Big it, big it, big it. Go. On first down. It's Watson, and he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Watson. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's back. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. So how would you describe that one, partner? Workmanlike right there, getting that first down, blue-collar type football? Yeah, only needed three, got four, just enough. I like workmanlike. I think it's pretty cool myself. Everything doesn't have to be high glamour in this game. On the double. Mike 35. Get in the white room. Get in the white room. Be 
Dietrich. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Second and 14. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line has had, it is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. The Ravens send their putter out now as he's on to kick it away. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. They built up that lead at intermission. And they're just continuing to pour it on right now, aren't they? Locked into a really good groove right now. I don't know if it's just the play calling. I know the execution is really, really sharp right now. And all the playmakers are doing exactly what you expect. They're making plays. And right now, defense has no answer and no chance of catching up. Yeah, they're just looking to turn anywhere for a stop defensively. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now they'll run it on the toss. Oh, he slipped. And now nothing but green ahead of him. 20. Travis Homer, 64 yards. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And he's been having a great game, and that one right there, his best run so far, and it ends with six points. And not only that, in his mind, what is he thinking? Can I get to 200 yards as well? Because he knows he's closing in on it. He may not know the exact number, but the best runners have a feel of what the yardage is that they're compiling, and he knows that he's getting close to that 200-yard mark now. Problems on the extra point, but it does manage to skip home off the crossbar, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded at the 6. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't. Not until you balance it with the error side. You know, and in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. That's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Right here, right here. Kill, 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 kill. Let's go. And he'll give it here to his running back. 
Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Back to throw now on second and ten. Rolling to his right. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. On third down, Young. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. Let's go, go. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And to give this time to the tailback. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll make it second and 12. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Watson. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient. Followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Live has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. On second down. It's Watson. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Now back to throw. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 17-yard line. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. Ready? 30 base. We all nil. We all nil. Check, check, check. Up. They'll run on first down. Watson, and he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a second and seven. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. 
So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job here of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Now, a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. Here we go on fourth down. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. So the decision to go for it turns out to be a good one. They get a couple of yards, and as a result, the drive keeps moving. It's now first and goal. Back to throw. He'll buy some time. And it's six points for the Baltimore Ravens. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And that'll cut the lead back now to 21. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken about the 12. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. And he'll give it here to his running back. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Cowboys on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. Looking to throw. Perry. Thomas has got it. Complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Let's go. It'll be a gain of 16 and give him a first down as well. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. This quarterback now hitting on two-thirds of his passes, 10 for 15 so far, first and 10. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Off play action. Perry. Throw left side complete. It's Jordan. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 29-yard line. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. And to give this time to the tailback. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, pulled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. 
And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. From 17 yards out. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Extra point attempt to come here. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was all finished off by the 17-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Well, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. They'll look to throw here. Johnson's got it complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. This quarterback now, a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad, first and 10. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just gonna sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's, what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, a broadcaster? Well, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won every game as a player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. <laughs> and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that, you know, team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before 
now was dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? Yes, as, the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and how it all happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question. What game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles. The Rams. Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from the first one and blew out the Seahawks. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got it running. That's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. From the gun on third down, Perry. Going left side here, and it's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Had a bit of a lane there, took advantage of it. Give him seven there on the first down carry. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On second down now, it's Gray. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead will swell by one more. A 10-play drive that time. And it was capped off by a 12-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 
And now here come the Ravens. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Second and 14, as they've got work to do here after the sack. He'll drop to throw, and that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He'll look to throw. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. send their punter out now as he's on for the fifth time here today and he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away here's Thomas but Charles it's one thing to win it's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. And with that, we sign off from Miami.